so for the next item in the um, self-care baskets I am making are these uh, rose body scrubs. They are so lovely. See all the rose bits in there? I love a good sugar scrub. And that's what I'm going to show you how to make today. All right, so for this sugar cup, um, scrub, I am going to start with organic um, cane sugar. Um, I like to use organic things that are going to go inside or uh, my body or on the outside of my body because things soak into your skin very, uh, very easily, very well. So I'm going to put two cups of organic sugar in this. I'm making um, a bigger batch because I'm going to be gifting this out. But if you were just going to make some for like you and another person, you might want to cut this recipe in half. So I'm using two cups of organic sugar. Now you can use up to a cup of, of coconut oil for this. I am using organic refi unrefined virgin uh, coconut oil for this. And I'm going to start with a half a cup. But like I say, it's basically a cup of sugar to a half cup of oil is what you want to use. Now the sugar is, uh, is a gentle exfoliator and I'm using the coconut oil because it has amazing um, protective properties and moisturizing properties for your skin. So it's absolutely amazing. So I'm going to start with um, like a heaping half a cup, but you definitely can go up to a whole cup. But I'm thinking I want mine to be more sugar, a little drier. I'm looking for a little drier consistency but like I say I'm probably gonna have to go in and add another cup of that so I am doing a rose theme for my gifts this year so I am using roses now I had to put them in the food processor and break them down because you don't it's not gonna feel nice to rub whole rosebuds on your skin and the other thing I want to mention I used rosebuds I I bought the giant bag of rosebuds, but the thing about rosebuds is I might recommend you, if you want to use rose petals, that you, you do that instead. You can buy dry rose petals or you can buy the dry rosebuds. I bought the rosebuds and then when I processed the rosebuds, I had to remove these. These are very hard and wouldn't even uh, break up in the food processor. So I had to go through and kind of sift through and pull all of those out. So that was kind of a pain. So if you just use uh, rose petals, then you don't have to worry about that. Now you don't even have to put rose petals in here if you are gonna use some rose essential oil because you're gonna get the benefits, the anti-inflammatory and the anti-aging benefits from the oil. But I wanted to add the roses just because I like the look of that so you definitely don't have to do that so I'm using a cup of rose petals that I or rose buds that I put through the food processor and then we're just gonna keep mushing that together I want to mush this together just to see if I need to add more oil before I add the rose essential oil Let's see if I need to use more coconut oil. That is definitely going to need more coconut oil. So let me get out my spatula and we will go ahead and put another half a cup in of that. Let's see here. Nice. Now since we're using, you could use other oils. I like to use coconut oils for my sugar scrubs. But the thing about that is that it, it's going to have to be dried, I mean stored in like a cooler place because you know how soft coconut oil gets and how easily it melts. So that could be a problem. But the easy thing about it, if you're gifting it out, just make sure you tell your whoever you're gifting it out to. <laughs> which in my little gift basket I am going to put a note about each product I made. If it gets too soft and too liquidy, all you've got to do is pop it in the refrigerator and it'll harden right back up. But you don't need it, you know, and then it'll soften back up in a warm room. So whatever consistency you like, your sugar scrub, there you go. Now you can store it in the refrigerator if you want to, 
which with my peppermint, when I do this and make a peppermint scrub, oh, it's amazing. And I will um, keep it in the refrigerator because it's got that cooling mint. Oh, it feels so good and um, invigorating when you put it on cold. Okay, now I'm gonna get in here with my hands and oh, it feels so good. And I just want to get all of the dry stuff wet with coconut oil. See how pretty that is with the roses in it? I just love it. It's so pretty in a jar. All right, so let me kind of get some of this off my hands because we still need to use the uh, oil and I didn't think about that before I stuck my hands in there. So I'm gonna rinse these off real quick. Grab. Now, if you buy the bag of rose uh, buds that I purchased, it comes with a jar of rose absolute oil. And you want to um, add about 20 drops to uh, this size. And then we are going to mix that all in. And also, I'm just going to get in there with my hands because I feel like it works better. Okay, so I did add about uh, 10 more drops of the rose oil and you could add I, I would say up to 40 so it's really just how you prefer but look at how pretty it is and I just want you to know how soft my hands are so now I am just going to fill up these cute little jars because I think that's it you could use a smaller jar but I just wanted to gift out a nice proper amount of this <laughs> I just think that is going to be so super cute and so I will be putting a note in each gift basket um, letting each person know how to use all of the things I'm putting in there because with, the with this sugar scrub um, I like to use it on my hands and on my feet it's amazing so you're moisten your skin and then you will rub it all in and exfoliate everything and then you will rinse it with warm water and then you'll just pat it dry instead of rubbing yourself dry that way the oil still will be um, soaking into your skin and making the everything so soft and smell so lovely so let me show you how i'm going to package it all right so i didn't have the right size punch unfortunately i ended up using my um, three and a half inch scalloped punch and the next one down is a two and a half punch that i have a three a three inch punch would have been perfect but we're going to deal with what we have. So I punched, I used my three and a half inch scallop punch and punched um, out these circles out of some scrap um, paper that I had. And then I uh, put double sided tape on the lid. And then I sat this on top and then I pushed it down and then I rubbed around the edges so it would curl up a little bit so it would be easier to open and close. So I made sure that you could do that. So even though this is a little bigger than I'd like it to be, it still works just fine. And then I wrote what it was on the top. And now I just thought we'd add some ribbon and a bow. Now um, I am gonna hot glue this on. And hot glue and metal are not the perfect combination, but I kind of just need it to hold there until I get this around. I got stuff hanging off my sleeve. I'm just making a mess up here today, but that's okay. And then I will cut it to fit. And then I will hot glue it to itself. So I'm gonna hot glue the ribbon to itself. That way it will stay. If it's just glued to the metal, it is not gonna stay. So. We should have a better uh, chance of it staying right there. And now we are going to cover up the end with a bow. So I have a little drawer of bows. How handy. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop on a little bow right uh, where the ribbon meets. And there. How cute is that? 
So I've got my little jars of scrub, uh, sugar scrub, all ready to go and package so cutely. And I did make my mom a vanilla body scrub. You could just mix the coconut oil and the sugar and not add anything else for people who are um, sensitive to scents. But my mom um, does pretty good with vanilla. So I actually put in the food pr processor the sugar and a vanilla bean. So you can see the vanilla beans. And this smells amazing. Just saying, I absolutely love it. So for this one, I um, I only used a cup of sugar and a half a cup of coconut oil and a vanilla bean. And it filled this jar and gave me a little bit for myself. And I wanted to let you know that the um, when we made the, the rose body scrub and we used two cups of sugar and a cup of coconut oil and a cup of ground up rose petals, that actually filled up four of these. So I hope you enjoyed the little tutorial and thank you so much for watching everybody and stay tuned and I will be sure to uh, make a video of the finished basket. Oh, and I do have one more thing that I wanna make to add into it. So I'll be back soon with that. Bye everybody.